Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I just wanted to share another testimony from this weekend with you. But first, let me do the same that I ask you guys. Pray and share. Lord Jesus, bless this uh, broadcast uh, now and later for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. So hold on, let me share God's 10 California Lunch with the Bible and Friends. One Accord Crusades, first for today, my bros that meet me at the altar, Jesus Christ is God, and let's do uh, unity and community, just a random uh, group. So the scripture that the uh, Lord put on my heart for this testimony is this, it's a 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5, and God's word says this, but watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. <laughs> Mom, let me read that again. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Amen. So, yeah, I just wanted to share a quick testimony with you guys in regards to the Sunday ministry. Um, we're still in a lockdown, social distancing mode, thanks to the CV-19. So, uh, me and my family, our, our, our family is uh, doing our best to, you know, wear gloves and masks and such and, and uh, clean up and disinfect everything if we go shopping or whatnot. Um, and then as far as the ministry goes, we're still out in the park. Uh, the, the mandate by the government says keep things uh, 10, groups of 10 people or, or less and then uh, six feet, you know, and then we have gloves and masks and such, and we're feeding the homeless. We have our ministry on Sunday at 2.30 at the park, uh, which is, it's real simple. We just have, we have service, the message, you know, uh, ask people, give a call to repentance if people want to come to Jesus or come back, Then we feed the homeless, and then we get out of there. So we had a wonderful time this weekend, even brought a stick, you guys can see the video on my timeline uh, from Sunday uh, to show what six feet of a distance looks like and then also was able to put it down on the sidewalk to tell people stay behind that red line <laughs> in an effort to uh, uh, listen and to do what uh, is required of us. But this Sunday, we had about 50 people last Sunday, so we broke them up into groups and had them sit apart. This Sunday was a little bit less uh, because it's the first Sunday of the month, which is usually slower. And then uh, last Sunday was um, was the fifth Sunday we had in March, so it was really busy. But this Sunday was special. This is what I wanted to share with you. Even though we are going through social distancing, even though things are strange right now, it's a weird time that we're in, um, God's ministry is still going forth. We did something that I've never done before. It was kind of a uh, all in all service. Uh, Brother Paul, our soloist, uh, vocalist, um, his wife had passed away on the first, and then my wife also lost one of her dear friends, and then we also lost a nephew, and my mom lost her best friend, all within about a week's time. So we had, at the beginning of our service, we would normally read scripture, share some testimonies, have the message, you know, and then give people the opportunity to come to Christ and then feed the hungry, the people out in the park that we call to say that are in transition. But this Sunday, we had a special time and an interesting during this weird time that the Lord would do something like this. Let me share with you. First, we had a memorial for Paul's wife, just, you know, about 10 minutes, had him sing a song. It was beautiful. And then shared some things about the departed and heaven and such. And in a moment of remembrance for her, then we went into the regular service. And then we had a message, a teaching on communion. And uh, then we had communion Sunday, the first Sunday of the month. Uh, a lot of Christian churches celebrate that together. Some do every week, but uh, most uh, Christian churches that I know do the first Sunday of the month is dedicated to communion. So we had a teaching on communion. We shared communion. Then we fed the poor. Uh, and uh, needy out there on the streets and kept our six feet distance, had the person stay behind the red line, put the pizza, napkin, uh, devotion for Easter and a water up on the table and then step back, have them come up, get their food, go back, put the food up, next person and so on. So we were uh, being respectful of the guidelines set out by the, the, uh, the government for this time that we're in. And then 
Awesomely enough, last week, Minister Jeff taught on baptism, and Brother Leo decided that he wanted to get baptized. And then I asked myself, how are we going to baptize if we have no water at the park and then we're not supposed to touch people and you're supposed to keep a six foot distance or at least some type of distancing? How are we going to pull this off? You could do the sprinkle thing, but the, the word baptism means to be immersed. <laughs> so how are we going to do that? And then something clicked. I remember watching uh, the Super Bowl when I was uh, in the world <clears throat> more. And uh, at the end of the game, the team would douse the the coach with the 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 water. So that's why I called this igloo baptism because after the service we had brother Leo come up, told him to bring an extra pair of clothes. He is staying in his car right now, so please pray for him. His wife just got out of the hospital. She was healed miraculously, but they're still in their car, so they need a place to live. So pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll give them a place to live in the next few days, uh, two weeks, not months and years. In Jesus' name, amen. So yeah, that's taken care of and on the way. But we had him bring him an extra change of clothes, and we talked just a short uh, time on baptism, what it means and such, and use my minister's Bible here. <clears throat> it's really helpful. It has these helps in the middle, weddings and memorial services and all that handy right here in the tab in the middle. was able to highlight some things that I thought were interesting and good about baptism, and we said the Apostles' Creed together, asked him a few questions, and then at the time of baptism, we said, now, by the profession of your faith, we now baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I stepped away, pulled the pulpit away, the Bible and such, and then uh, Minister Jeff had the igloo water uh, jug, the big orange one, and then he poured it over <laughs> Brother Leo, and he got soaked. Amen. And we also prayed that he would get baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire right on the spot. So despite what is going on with social distancing and um, the 10 people or less rule, ministry is still going forth. So keep us in prayer, especially for protection. And uh, we're taking all the necessary precautions. It's just one time a week. And we're there for the people, especially this time when the majority of the churches and services that they would normally have access to are closed or shut down. Um, and we even have one of our food providers uh, just say, no, we're, we're not doing it anymore. So keep us in prayer. If you need anything at all, give us a call at one 70 jesus And if you're out of the country, just log on to our website at One Accord Crusades. Uh, click on the little lines on the left side, and then you'll see a prayer request uh, thing. You can fill that out, and it'll go right to our email. And remember what 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 5 says, and we'll close with this. But watch thou in all things. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full proof of thy ministry. So we love you. Take care. God bless you guys. Uh, see you next time.